hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see how we can use git version controlling within canvas app in power apps so what advantages does git versioning gives us over normal versioning so one thing is that if accidentally we delete any application power app then we have a by default time period of 28 days which we can recover or power platform administrator can recover that app but with versioning controlling you would able to recover you would be able to have your versions historically stored in git and second thing is you will are able to allow multiple developers to work on the single canvas app so those are two main advantage but as this feature is in still experimental mode so there are known limitations only git web version uh, is allowed to actually store these versioning so no on premise git version can be used and as well as there are other multiple known limitation which we are going to talk about later in this video so right now let's get into enabling the git version feature for apps so i'll just go to apps and i will pick my existing application so that i would be storing this uh, individual canvas app into my git version so i'll add it this one and parallelly i would open my github account so right now you can see i am into my git account and i have this one repository already created for storing power apps and if i click on this repository i would able to see that i have two branches by default like as master and the other one the repository which i created so we are going to create the repository and directory directly from power apps but i'll just copy the actual path of my this so that we can use this path so first step is when you open this existing app you would able to see this gear icon or you can again use this one to go to settings and in this settings we have to go to the upcoming feature in the experimental we have this git version so we have to enable this settings show git version control settings so once you enable it you will start getting this git version control and post that you are given to connect to any git repository so it can be git web it can be azure devops as well so once you click on connect you have been asked to the git repository url so that same url which i copied from here i'll just enter that url and in branch so you can actually create a new branch so as it's in experimental so it's recommended to create new directory for individual applications or canvas apps so just create this power apps i'll just name as calendar and the same directory name and apply so it will ask for the username and personal access token so how to get the personal access token as you are into github web so you can actually go to your account and once you click on your account you will be given this settings page and you need to scroll down and go to the left hand side developer settings there we would be given with this personal access tokens so this token classic you can click on this one and create a new token using this generate new token way and you can click on this one and you would be asked to create a new node so i'll just say that power app calendar app and you can set this token expiration as custom or you can just say that no expiration and we have to select the scopes of this token so which is like i want to allow this to have full access to my this repo so that i can check in and check out and sync in my code and post that you just need to generate token so once token is generated you have to copy this token and go to power app use your username so i will use my username and paste my copied token once I click on sign in, it will authenticate and it will say like create branch. So it will create the branch with the repository name which we have specified. So once click yes, the directory name was not found because it's a new directory which we want to create. Yes. So now it's connected. The Git version control has been connected with your power apps. And you can close this one. And to do a first sync up to save this existing app you need to go to this commit changes and check for git updates so click on this one it will check in your 
power app into the repository and once you go back to your repository you would find this new directory created with a new name so you can see like power apps calendar has had been pushed 28 seconds ago so this is master i can go to my this uh, branches so you can see i have this branch which is having this power apps con calendar canvas app and you can merge this like post your entire work is done then you can compare and create a pull request and with this pull request you can click on create pull request and can add the reviewers for this pull request and or do you can directly merge this pull request in your master so once confirm merge it will be committed into master so when you go back to your branch again you will find that your master is updated with the latest power apps which is being pushed so this is how you can actually control a versioning in uh, for your canvas apps into git rather than having a direct versioning enabled so because that has a limitation of 28 days recovery time so but just remember to create the new directory and repository for individual apps because uh, there is limitation if i open the microsoft document so it says that there are known limitations and this feature is isn't compatible with the code components as of now the feature is not compatible with the on-premise git repository and you can't re uh, restore a canvas apps to a, to a previous version using the steps described in restore app so that is by default how a power uh, platform administrator can restore it so you have to restore the steps using git versioning only and there are other few limitations which you can actually uh, take a look into this microsoft article and uh, as i said like just try to create the individual directories for individual apps don't try to have the multiple canvas apps into one directory so it may create problems but as it's an experimental uh, feature as of now so no guarantee that uh, the same settings would be there or some updates would come but it's it's worth to explore explore this part so i thought like i should make a quick video on this so that uh, we can be aware about this uh, new feature so that is it for today's video. Thank you.